Hey, what's up? I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com. Today we're going to be talking about black and white editing on a portrait. If you'd like, the raw file is in the description below so you can download, follow along, create your own preset, or even create your own edit altogether. Feel free to post it on social media, tag me in it. All of my information is down below. I would love to see what you come up with. All right, well, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to do with this portrait is to give it a little crop. Now, I'm a real big advocate of getting your composition correct in the camera. However, once I got to the edit, I noticed that there was a little bit of light reflecting off of this bookshelf here, and I really just want to get rid of it. So I'm just going to crop in just a little bit, just enough to get rid of that distracting, uh, almost like a glare, while still keeping a center subject. So I'm going to crop in just a hair more. Go right about there. All right, perfect. I love the way this composition works. So since we're doing a black and white edit, it would be fair to start with clicking black and white here right on treatment. So it's going to desaturate the image. It's going to give us a little bit of a preset as far as the black and white mix is concerned. And we're just going to leave it where it's at. But the first thing we're going to do now that it's in black and white, we're going to go down to the tone curve here and we're going to apply a preset. These are the presets that Lightroom gives us. We're going to give it a medium contrast curve. And you can see here, it's just giving us a real subtle S curve here. So we're going to scroll back up and we're going to start with our sliders. And of course, we're going to start with our contrast. We're going to add somewhere around plus 20 or so. I think plus 20 looks great. With the highlights in particular, I actually like where the highlights are at with the way that they came straight out of camera. Now, as we move down to shadows, we are going to open these up just a little bit because we want more to play with. So we're going to go plus 50 on the shadows. I like where that's at. This gives us a lot of wiggle room to play with uh, in just a couple seconds here. Now, with the whites, I do want to open up the whites just a little bit. I think we're going to go like around 45. 45 looks awesome. You can see here the image is getting real bright. Now, with portraits, I keep a real huge emphasis on what the subject looks like first. So you might say, okay, this is starting to look a little bit blown out or a little bit too too bright, exposure's a little too high, but you, you'll see where we're going with this. And as we move down with the blacks, we're going to really take these down quite a bit. We're going to go somewhere around minus 60, 67. I like where minus 67 is. You can see we have so much more contrast in this now. I really like where this is going. I previously mentioned that I really place a, a big emphasis on the way the subject looks and and watch what I mean by that. So I want to add clarity to this because I want to add a lot more detail. But when I add detail to it, notice what happens to the subject, right? The books look amazing and the and the scene looks great, but the model starts to look not so good. So we're going to remove that and we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to go to the graduated filter tool. You can press M on your keyboard. I'm going to zero out the effect for now, and that's just going to neutralize all the sliders. And on the left side, there's a couple of things that I want to do. The first thing is it's a little too bright for my liking, so I'm going to come down on the exposure somewhere like minus one. That's where we'll have it. And then clarity, we're just going to crank this thing all the way. We're going to max this bad boy out. And then from the left side, going to the right, I'm going to hold down my shift key and you can see there it's gradiating this really nice look. When you hover over the node, it's going to show you an overlay mask and show you exactly where it's hitting. And you can notice here that it's starting to touch the subject skin just a little bit. So what we're going to do is at the very top, you can see mask, you click on brush and I'm going to click on erase and I'm just going to erase that information right off the model skin. So there we go. We're going to check the mask once more and it's off the model skin. Great. Now what we're going to do again is we're going to click new because we want to do the same thing on the right side. Well, we're actually going to want to do something similar on the right side. You'll notice that the right side, while it's still too bright, it's not brighter than the left side started. When we turn this off, you can see here out of camera, the right side's a little bit darker. So what we're going to do to compensate for that is we're only going to do about minus 20 or minus 0.20. Then from the right side going to the left, 
while holding down shift, we're going to bring that graduated filter right in there. And you can see that it's starting to spill onto the model skin just a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to erase just to make sure that all the remnants are gone from that. There we go. And that looks great. I like the way that looks. Now we can see before we added the graduated filters and then after, I think that adds a lot of depth, just a lot more character to the image overall, a lot more contrast as well. That's what Clarity is essentially doing is adding contrast back into the midtones. And I'm really happy with the way this black and white edit turned out. You can see here, here's the before picture, here's the after. I think this picture works really well with black and white and it gives the image a lot more character. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you like the final result, you can always click on plus on your presets and create a brand new preset. You can also check in the description for the raw file so that you can follow along or make your own edit. Again, check me out on social media. Feel free to subscribe if you like this content. I plan on releasing a lot more tutorial videos and a lot more other videos here in the near future.